Hey you guys, it's Joey Alvarado with KettleJitsu.com or KJRevolution.com over here at the New CrossFit and Kettle Jitsu Room over here in Legacy Mixed Martial Arts in Burbank. Come check it out. It's beautiful. It's brand new. All new equipment. Anyway, I want to talk about something that I, one of the most common questions that I get all the time. People emailing me, asking me about how much weight should I use when they start off with the kettlebell program. Okay, so now like the traditional people they're gonna say you're a man you need to use a 16 kilogram I think that's a bunch of BS you know everybody's fitness level is different you know you're not gonna start some guy off with a 16 kilogram who's never worked out before so I always like to ask them what their fitness level is and whenever we're doing joint mobility I'm, I'm checking out I'm analyzing their movement and seeing what their fitness level is okay so just because a, a man is a man, I'm not gonna make him use a certain amount of weight. I'm gonna do it based on what his fitness level is. So, like, I'll start a guy off just, just to see where he's at with an eight kilogram sometimes, you know? It's a safety thing, man. If I put a 16 kilogram uh, kettlebell on some guy who hasn't worked out in years and he hurts his back, then I, I lose a client, I lose business. And that's not a good thing to go around telling people, hey, I hurt my, my back doing kettlebells, you know, it doesn't do anything for our kettlebell reputation here. But anyway, like on average, I say I always like to start a woman off with one of these bells right here. This is a little 10 kilogram bells or 10, 10 pounds, you know, and then they, they work their way up. So I think on average, people, women who um, train with me, I think they work up to generally on the heavy side. This is an 8 kilogram kettlebell. I see a lot of my women using this and for guys I think on average a guy can start off with a eight kilogram kettlebell and work his way up to a 12 kilogram kettlebell and then maybe up to a 16 later with certain exercises and stuff like that like I do kettlebell training all the time it's all I do my, my main workout partner is a 16 kilogram kettlebell and then I upgrade to 20 and, and 24 kilograms, depending on how I feel and what I'm doing. You know, so don't get caught up in, in, in this whole idea that you're a guy and you have to use a certain amount of weight. Your client's safety is extremely important. You don't want to hurt your clients, you know. So make sure you start them off with a lightweight first, see what's comfortable for, for them. And then you ask them, hey, how does that weight feel? Are you feel like you're getting a workout? Do you feel like you can do more? You communicate with them and then you can upgrade accordingly. So remember, safety is the most important thing when it comes to your clients. So don't, don't get caught up in that weight thing right here. And just gradually increase the weight. So I would say to recap, I like to start my <clears throat> ladies off with a, a 10 pound kettlebell, a really light one, and then they can upgrade. All right, and then maybe up to a 16 for the guys, you know, after a while. All right guys, so to sum it up, um, on average, like when a woman comes into my gym, I'll start them off with a 10, kilo, 10 pound kettlebell, just to kind of see where they're at. And if they're picking up the movement well, then you know I'll upgrade them, I'll ask them if they want to do more weight, you know, I don't push it on them. But I say like on average, like a, a woman who does a kettlebells on a regular, they'll progress up to maybe eight kilogram. And then sometimes on certain movements, they'll even use a 12 kilogram. Now the guys at my gym, I'll start them off, depending on where they're at, like with the eight kilogram kettlebell. And then a lot of the guys use uh, 12 kilogram. And personally, I stick with a 16 kilogram, depending, and then sometimes I upgrade to a 20 kilogram, 22 kilogram, depending on what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's my opinion on, on, on what weight you should use for kettlebells. So, if you guys have any other kind of questions or anything you want to ask related to kettlebell fitness or even jujitsu, um, shoot me an email, socalsensei at gmail.com. Um, hope you like this video. I hope it's helpful for you guys. Uh, remember, train safe. Thanks. Have a great day.